So this is my distress call, the rabbit squealer for the DWO signature series that I built for downwind outdoors. So this particular call is a distress call. And this is where you're communicating to that predator of that natural instinct to feed. You're, you're basically ringing the dinner bell. And the one thing you need to keep in mind is which way is the wind blowing? And always, always, always know which way the wind is blowing and make sure you can have that shot in that direction. So blowing on the call, like I said before, we're gonna blow through the call to create tone. And one thing that we wanna do, you're gonna see a lot of us, uh, Jared, Andy, Eric, you're gonna see these fingers going crazy on the end of the barrel. What you're actually doing is creating back pressure. You're exhausting lung capacity through the call, but you're manipulating what that reed is doing on the inside by fluctuating your fingers over the end of the barrel. So we can start out with a whine. And then as that aspect goes with the roll of my finger over the end of the barrel, you're gonna completely manipulate the tone control of that call. And that's you as the caller just figuring out how you want to project the sound to that animal. When you come into contact with the animal and you can physically see it, read its body language, watch what it's doing. If it likes it, if it doesn't like it, if it kind of stays stationary, mix up the sound a little bit. Try to hit a really high tone volume. And then, as I said before, curiosity always kills the cat. A lot of times, silence is your best call. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a really, really high pitch with this call, and this is something that I've actually watched coyotes do quite often this season, is calling and calling and calling, and then long pauses and calling, and then usually it's that in-between where that coyote winds up popping out when it's just calm, quiet. But communicating with that animal when you actually have the visual and you can read the body language of what it's doing, is I've really come to notice if you hit that really high pitch on the call, it really peaks that inquisitiveness and they get a lot closer and they cut distance a lot quicker. So I'll just start squealing as a distress call and then I'm gonna hit that real high pitch and that's something that I've come to learn that that coyote really likes. And hitting that high pitch is a lot of pressure, a lot of lung capacity going through that reed and that reed just kind of slams shut. Manipulate your fingers on the end of the barrel so there's not a lot of air coming out of it. And then just unplug it and that reed will slam and it hits that high pitch. 